Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health. How will Labor's cost of living tax cuts help Australia's healthcare workers? How will tax cuts build on the Albanese government's actions to make healthcare more affordable for all Australians after a decade of neglect and cuts to our health system? Yeah. Call to the Minister for Health and Aged Care. Oh, th thank you, Speaker, and I thank the member for Jagger Jagger for her question. Uh, she knows that 77,000 taxpayers in her electorate uh, will benefit from legislation we've put before the parliament right now, debated again this afternoon, this evening, which will mean every single one of those taxpayers gets a tax cut on the 1st of July. Not some of them, as was the case under the old plan of five years ago, but every single one of them. And, Mr Speaker, many of those Order. work in health care, including at the terrific Austin Hospital uh, in Heidelberg in the members' electorate. A second-year nurse working at the Austin on $75,000 will receive, under Labor's plan, a tax cut of $1,554 a year, around double what they would have received under the old plan. A hospital orderly working at the Austin on $47,000 will receive a tax cut of $862 a year, compared to just $58 under the old plan. About $1 a week was what they were getting under the old plan from five years ago. This is all part of this government's commitment to ensure that middle Australia earns more and keeps more of what they earn. And Australia's hospital Order. staff Mr. Speaker, will also know that their work is going to be better funded and better supported by the historic agreement struck by the Prime Minister and National Cabinet in December last year. An extra $1.2 billion to strengthen Medicare even further, including more urgent care clinics, and a commitment to lift the Commonwealth's share of public hospital funding to 45 per cent, Mr Speaker. Billions more into our public hospitals from the Commonwealth than existing arrangements. Those hospital staff at the Austin and hospitals right around the country, Mr Speaker, know what a struggle it has been to get that level of support. Every day at work, they see coming through their front door the consequences of 10 years of cuts and neglect to Medicare, cuts and neglect Gippsland that were initiated by the Leader of the Opposition when he was the Health Minister. Now, compare and contrast, Mr Speaker, this Prime Minister's historic agreement with National Cabinet in December with the Leader of the Opposition's first budget as Health Minister in 2014. Of course, everyone remembers he tried to abolish bulk billing altogether and tried to jack up medicines. They might not remember he also tried to cut $50 billion from hospitals, fifty billion dollars in a the blue, minister will, glossy minister will budget. Pause. The minister will not refer to props or documents in his answer. He will resume his seat for a moment, so I can hear from the manager of opposition business. Speaker on relevance, the minister needs to stay within the terms of the question, rather than engaging as he always does in uh, an unspecified trawl through the records of the opposition. The Leader of the House on the point of order. Mr. Speaker, uh, on direct relevance, given that the question asks the Minister to talk about a decade of neglect and cuts to our health care system, <laughs> how can he avoid talking about the Leader of the Opposition? The Minister was asked about a decade of decline, so I'm just going to make sure the document he's referring to is to do with that part of the question, not simply his opinion on the Opposition. I like speaking about the Super Bowl without mentioning Taylor Swift, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Not only did he cut Order. $50 billion, he tore up agreements on preventative health. He tore up agreements Order. on concessions the for pensioners. For Deacon will but, Mr Speaker, the staff at Austin know now they've got a government in Canberra that's committed to them earning more, keeping more of what they earn and funding their hospitals fairly. Yeah. Yeah.